Hey, it's John again with Let's Go RV. We are going to show you now how to disconnect from an RV park or state park, wherever you're at, with the hookups, full electric, cable, water, all of those. At this particular RV park, we've had to drain the gray a couple of times as we showered here. So I've left the hose hooked up, the sewer hose, so that I could just pull the gray quickly, drain it out, close the gray again. You don't ever want to leave your gray open because the smell from the sewer will come back up into your RV and it's not pleasant. We've done it before and it's not a good thing. So if you've created some type of a pee trap in your sewer hose, that helps to keep water down in the bottom of the sewer pipe so that it, the smell can't back up. It's the exact same thing as a house. If I were going to be dumping and being done with using all of our water and sewer, the gray and the black, I would drain my black first and then I would drain the gray. We are going to be using our toilets and things on the way home still, and so we'll still do a full dump at home. So for right now, we're just doing a quick one. We're leaving the black. We're just going to do the gray, but uh, we'll show you how to do that quickly. Just open this up. We've got our gray. We're going to dump that. We have a full dumping video that we'll go ahead and link to this one as well, so you can go to that so you can see it at the end of the trip. As I said in our hooking up video, we always put things back in their home. So I know that my sewer caps are right in this bag. So I'm gonna grab those and we're gonna go cap it off. Once I've finished draining my gray, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect. Careful not to drip anything out. I'm gonna cap this off. They just go into where they clip in place. Again, I love this flex tube where I can just connect it and make it shorter. I'm lifting it up to make sure all the water's out. I'm going to twist this counterclockwise. Cap this off. And my hose is ready to store. Sometimes when I put on this threaded piece I've done it too tight so I can't even get it back off with my fingers so I'll just loosen this again put it back in just enough to loosen that up and then now I can take that out then sometimes you'll get a, some debris or something leaves or whatever that blows in there sometimes you'll have to dump it down the drain then just take the cap replace it Again, you don't have to go too tight. You want it to where the next person can get it off. Now I'll take my threaded piece and put it back in the plastic bag where I keep it so that it keeps things clean. And I'll take my sewage hose, tuck it back in here. This is my black hose. If you've seen our other video too on how to dump, I'll use my black hose on the flush, the black flush clean out. But right now I'm just storing stuff to be ready for the next trip. Then we've got to put our sewage tank away. It helps keep the drainage good on it. And then you clip the handle on to keep it tight. It just fits underneath. <coughs> then this side fits underneath as well to carry it. And we put it back in its home. You always want to make sure you reinstall your sewer caps. And the floor drain. When I'm outside disconnecting, people inside are helping to clean, get things ready and stowed to be on the road again so that they're not vibrating off shelves or things like that. They're able to bring the slides in while we're still connected to the power source outside. We either need power from the electrical box outside or have the truck engine of the RV going. The next thing we're gonna do is disconnect our water source. So we're gonna turn it off. I'm gonna disconnect here just to let it leak out. it drips on the grass rather than inside my box. 
I have left this piece before, forgetting, because somebody talked to me in the middle of my routine. So don't forget to disconnect your filter and your water reducer, water regulator. Drip out a little bit of water just so it doesn't leak inside the box. It's good enough. And then it, it's, I store it sideways so it's not gonna leak. I'm just gonna set it inside there. Then I disconnect my water here. And if we needed water in our fresh tank, we're close, but I think we'll make it home. I would go ahead and hook it up here with, with the filter on. I'd go ahead and fill up here. Just pop that cap off and hook it up here so that we would be able to have enough water for our trip home. But we're good enough for today. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace these caps. Take the hose out the bottom and then I'll wind it up the rest of the way. I'm gonna raise the hose just a little to get some water out of it as best I can. Then I'll wind it up. Again, I keep this screwed on just to keep debris, dust, anything out of it, bugs, spiders, and I'll put it in its home. I need to make sure I replace my floor cap. in. The last two things we need to do is put away our cable and the electrical wire. So we're going to disconnect cable. And then we'll go ahead and put this back through the floor. And then I like to keep things neat. So we're going to go ahead and coil this up. And then I have a tie in here just to keep that section of it. I have more cable if I have to stretch further. So that keeps our cable up and out of the way. The last thing, turn power off and then take out the plug and then we'll bring it up through the floor. Some motorhomes you have to plug this in. This particular one does not need to be plugged into itself to make it work on the generator if you're doing that that way. And then again, floor plug. And that's it, that's the disconnect. It doesn't take me very long, maybe five minutes, seven minutes, once you get it down. So hopefully you liked this video. If you did, like and subscribe. Put any comments in the comment section and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. We hope you're enjoying these videos. Happy travels.